Bookworms and cocktail connoisseurs, there's a new shop bringing a new twist to the literary world. Lit Book Bar is a new bookstore where visitors can browse bookshelves with a drink in hand, located in the heart of historic Richmond. Joining us live this morning from Lit Book Bar is digital reporter Mariah Ballard. Good morning, Mariah. Good morning, Zach. If you're in the Richmond area and booze and books is your thing, I think I found the perfect new hideout. Joining me this morning is owner Jillian Reed and author Kristen Bird. Thank you, ladies, so much. How are you feeling this morning? Great. Yes. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> yes. So, Jillian, I'll start with you. Tell us what inspired you to create the book bar. Um, I was inspired by my book club. Um, we we got together when we needed connection the most and joked around but was kind of serious about drinking a lot and reading a little. Um, <laughs> so we, we decided that the community needed this. Um, so th the idea stemmed from connection through books and booze and um, the, it just took off. It, every person that I told um, seemed super excited about the idea and um, it just we just ran with it from there. Wow. So tell us why you chose the historic downtown Richmond area for this. The charm. Yeah. It's so charming. Um, it, it has such a small town feel, but there's so many people here um, willing and um, needing that connection that, that we wanted to bring to everybody. Yeah, and we also hear that you have a whole section dedicated to local authors. Why was it important for you to highlight local authors here at the Lit Book Bar? Um, I think that they're just an underserved uh, group of authors. Um, it's really hard for them to get into big big box bookstores like Barnes & Nobles. Um, of course, they can, they can get on Amazon easier, um, but being able to connect with their readers personally is, is super important for most of them. And um, having people able to browse without like having to search directly for them is a great way for them to be found. Yeah. So we're going to bring in local author Kristen Bird. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yes. Thanks for having me. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your book. We have them here. Watch it burn. Tell us about it. And congratulations on your new book as well. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, this is my third mystery novel, and it is set in the Texas Hill Country mm. in a town that's similar to Green, Texas. Oh. And it's about a 65-year-old woman who drowns in only two inches of the Guadalupe River. Oh, wow. And when the women in town begin investigating, they start to think that something more sinister than just a simple slip and fall is uh -huh. at play. And so they decide to infiltrate an organization that has been cropping up in their town. They're starting to figure out that it has some cultish vibes. Mm. And so they decide to go on the inside. And by the end of the novel, you can see whether or not they are the ones that watch it burn. Yikes, I, <laughs> I am intrigued now. You just had a wealth of knowledge. You didn't even tell me what the book was about this morning. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So what has it been like to be a part of a local series like this where authors are being highlighted here at the book bar? Yeah, I've known Jillian now for a couple of years when she was just a pop-up bookstore. And so mm -hmm. when she told me about this idea, my contribution was, yes, please do that. We need this in the community. <laughs> And the thing that I really like about Jillian is she's able to bring a kind of bespoke experience. Mm -hmm. So as you'll see later this morning, she's able to make a cocktail that pairs really well with the novel. And she's able to highlight the themes and the characters in a way that some of the big box stores just aren't able to do because they have yeah. so many titles that they're representing. Wow. And I heard you guys have a book signing. So for both of you, what are the events like that? Explain what's going to happen to tomorrow's book signing. Invite our audience out to what they can expect. Yeah. So tomorrow we're having Kristen Bird back out at 7 p.m. for book signing. Um, she'll be here to answer questions and do um, a little chat with you guys and do personal book signings. Yeah, and my favorite thing about the local events is that I can invite my friends, my family, my yeah. neighbors, my church, and all of those people can come out. But then I also get to meet local book clubs that go as far as North Houston because a lot of people are intrigued by coming to a kind of a speakeasy mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of vibe while they get to read and hear about great books. Wow. Jillian, tell us about some of the other events you host throughout the month. 
Um, so we, we have our own book club. It's a subscription based. Um, they meet on the first Tuesday of every month. Um, we also host a silent book club. Um, it's an hour of getting away and from the distractions and, and being able to read quietly in a cool vibe. Um, we also have a poetry reading um, at the end of this month, and then we'll, we continually have um, author signings. Awesome. Well, Zach, as you can see, we are here having a great time at the book bar. Y'all, I'm excited to get lit, do a little <laughs> learning, get a little booze, a little book reading, and yeah. I'm going to get into this book for sure, Zach. We're going to have to check this out on one of our weekends, friend. I, I love that idea. <laughs> a big congratulations to Kristen and Julian. And I, I, you know, I got the assignment, drink a lot, read a little. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, he said drink a lot, read a little, yeah. right on brand for me. I'm with it. Yeah. We're besties now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here a lot. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Thank you very much, Mariah. The time